In this grade 12 accounting video, we are preparing for the 2025 October finals. We are looking at the exam scope for the accounting paper one. So for the class of 2025, this is officially what is going to guide you on what to study for you to be fully prepared for your paper one. We are going to look at the topics as you know the main topics that are going to appear in your paper one but also what's important what to study under each and every single one of those topics to be prepared the first topic in your paper one is going to be company financial statements and in it make sure that you cover the following for you to be fully prepared for your paper one the first is the application of ifris as well as gap principle know all the gap principles and where do they apply revise the accounting equation and be able to complete the adjustments for your accounting equation then get to the year end adjustments so for that we are looking at the calculations of trading stock deficit and trading stock surplus consumable stores and consumable stores on hand depreciation using both the cost method as well as the carrying value method you be able to calculate bad debts as well as bad debts recovered be able to calculate accrued income income received in advance prepaid income accrued expense and provision for bad debts among other things such as director's fees and then also be able to complete and calculate the final accounts that is the trading stock account the profit loss account as well as the appropriation accounts and then from there make sure that you are comfortable with the frameworks of your financial statements that is the statement of comprehensive income the income statement as well as the statement of financial position which is the balance sheet but for those statements we are not only looking at completing them we are also looking at the notes that follow those statements so make sure that you are comfortable with notes such as note 3 which is important make sure that you are able to do ordinary share capital note and you're also able to do retained income note by the way i'm taking it for granted that you understand that note 3 is actually the fixed asset note so make sure that you are able to complete those ones and you are also able to calculate what goes into them because sometimes they give you the note just as they do with the financial statements themselves where they have filled some things for you and they're requiring you to fill the rest so you can only fill that if you know the th framework and the calculations <music> The second topic in your paper one is going to be cash flow statements with financial indicators. Cash flow statements is actually part of the company financial statements. And I'm mentioning that because you will see that sometimes in the requirements for cash flow statements, it's going to be paired with the same notes that you would have seen as you were completing the statement of financial position. So usually they like to pair it with notes such as the ordinary share capital note and the retained income note. Hence, I'm mentioning that it is part of company financial statements so it wouldn't be strange that those would be the notes that is attached to the cash flow statement but additionally to that you need to be able to prepare the cash flow statement usually they won't give you the full statement it will be sections of it but you have to be able to prepare a full because you don't know which part you are going to be asked to prepare in those calculations the most important ones are for you to be able to calculate the dividends paid as well as the tax paid be able to calculate the working capital and the items that fall under the working capital be able to calculate the cash and cash equivalent as well as the net changes in cash and cash equivalent be able able to calculate the financial indicators when we get into the part of financial indicators of which they include gross profit on sale net profit on sale solvency ratio the current ratio acid test ratio among other things they will give you a formula sheet but the formula sheet doesn't tell you which uh, ratio you are looking at so you have to be able to identify by just looking at the formula that this is a current form or current ratio formula rather then also get into the areas of analysis we are looking at profitability liquidity solvency returns and risk and gearing you have to know what each and every single one of those words mean and which financial indicators fall under which area of analysis so if the question asks you to calculate profitability you know which financial indicators are those <music> 
the third topic in your paper one is going to be interpretation of financial statements which requires you to cover the analysis and interpretation of income statement the balance sheet as well as the notes be able to cover the following financial indicators that is the return on shareholders equity the return on total capital employed the net asset value per share the dividend per share the earnings per share the dividend payout rate and then lastly be able to analyze the published financial statements and annual reports so usually this question is the one where they will give you complete financial statements or list of balances from completed financial statements so you are not preparing the financial statements they have already prepared the financial statement for you what they are requiring from you is for you to be able to comment hence we are saying interpretation you have to be able to talk about the financial statements that you have been given and be able to do comparisons so either you will be dealing with financial statements of one company between two different years so it's one company they gave you statements from 2024 and 2025 you are comparing between those amounts or they're giving two separate companies and you're uh, comparing the two companies especially if it is a question where you are making an investment decision you are advising on which company is best to invest in so usually for that they will give you two companies for you to be able to compare so you have to be able to do that <music> The last topic in your paper one is going to be corporate governance. With corporate governance, the first thing you must be able to do is the application of internal control and internal audit process. So meaning that you have to do internal control. Internal control is basically you making decisions about mistakes that are made in the company. So they will tell you so and so stole money. What do we do here? Company stock keeps missing. What do we do here? That's what internal control is. So it's usually the comment of you making decisions on how do we proceed given the problems that we have have been given or that we have identified and then you also have to be able to know the different audit opinions that can be given and when does each apply when do we give a qualified opinion and unqualified uh, opinion or a disclaimer of opinions and then be able to differentiate between the roles of an internal auditor as well as an external auditor this is a very common question so make sure that you're comfortable with what an auditor does and what does an internal editor does and what does an external auditor does and then lastly they can also integrate the gap principles as well as ethical issues and you need to be able to comment on those give recommendations as well as solutions on this channel we believe in the power of prayer so here are some scriptures that you can use to pray over yourself as you go sit for your examination if you are a parent i encourage you that as your child is writing make sure that wherever you are you are also praying for them I youtube recommend you more of my videos be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below